I'd like to do a demonstration that we call the Flaming Vapor Ram. We're indebted to Bob Becker of Kirkwood High School in Missouri for uh, really the design and the instructions for this demonstration. Uh, it demonstrates the flammability of a hydrocarbon vapor. We're going to use hexanes. Uh, and it really talks about also safety, really household safety in addition. You know, as chemistry teachers, we all spend a lot of time talking about safety. And sometimes the students may think, well, you're spending all this time talking about safety. One of the things that they should know is that safety is important not just in the classroom, but in their homes as well. Um, whenever people are instructed or advised they're using paint thinners or other things, if they're working with flammable liquids, if they're working with oil, combustible liquids, and so on, you never basically work indoors with those unless you're in a very well-ventilated area. Why is that? It has to do with the fact that it's the vapor that burns. What we're going to demonstrate here is the flammability of hexane vapor. Hexane is a hydrocarbon. I'm going to add about three milliliters of hexane to this large Erlenmeyer flask. It's a one liter Erlenmeyer flask. I'm going to cap that bottle and put it away. I'm going to cap then the stopper, the Erlenmeyer flask, and kind of swirl it a little bit. What I want to do is fill that with hexane vapor. This is actually a one-hole rubber stopper. If you can see that hole on the top of the stopper there. And what I want to do is allow the air to escape and fill it with the hexane vapor. So I'm going to swirl that a little bit. I'm going to let it sit for a while. In the meantime, having taken the hexane out of here, I'm going to light this candle that's at the bottom of this inverted V ramp. Okay, and What I'm going to do is move around to the front here, and I'm going to pour the vapor. Very important that I'm not going to pour the liquid. I wanted to fill the flask with the vapor, allow the hexanes to evaporate, and what I'm going to demonstrate when I pour that is what happens to the hexane vapor. So I'm going to be standing here. I'll undo that. And I'm just going to very gently pour. And I want you to look at the candle and what happens when I pour that vapor down the ramp. Notice that I took the flask away. I only have three milliliters in there. I can go ahead and do that again. We can demonstrate that if we want to take the lights down. And again, that it's the, when the vapor reaches the candle, the vapor is heavier than air, so it flows downhill. I pour the vapor only, being very careful not to pour the liquid as well. And you can see that vapor, the fl trail of flames coming up that ramp. Now, what does this demonstrate? You've heard of fires in houses when the vapors that have been used somewhere in a house, the house isn't ventilated, they travel downhill, downstream if you will, to the basement. What do they encounter in the basement? They encounter the pilot light of the furnace or the water heater. And that pilot light then ignites the vapor and you have disastrous consequences. So when you talk about safety in the classroom, you're really teaching them about safety in the real world as well. And I think that's an important thing for students to hear. They, they don't need to know that this is just in the classroom. This is something that they need to learn for their lives as well, for whatever they do in, in their lives uh, and so on. So it demonstrates the flammability of hexane vapor. Very simple demonstration, but very effective in terms of the concepts that you're trying to teach.